Part 17 is this thing called the speech evaluation creation. So first thing you need to realize is you obviously need to edit the quiz or some form of question. So for example, when you click on the plus, this is where you need to select the speech evaluation. So it cannot be any of these. It has to be an audio response. After clicking audio response, then you'll be asked to select the Chinese language speech evaluation, which is currently available. And then this speech evaluation rubrics will be automatically populated, of which of course you can come here to edit it to your satisfaction. So it is not too difficult to add your own band. Uh, so I will not demo this part because I don't think this is the difficult part to edit a rubrics. I'm just going to leave it as default. Uh, one thing that may catch you by surprise is you may think that the speech evaluation is here. Actually, it's not. You need to find this new icon called create speech evaluation. So once you click on it, then in this dialog box, then you key in your Chinese characters that you want to evaluate. So you want to test a student certain Chinese. So for example, I want to write something like 你们今天有去学校吗? So I use the computer's speech text to write the Chinese words. So I'm going to save it, of which this is what the student will then need to need to speak clearly so that the engine can evaluate how is the fluency and accuracy of the language dictated by the students. So once this is inserted into the question body, so I am ready to create this new question tree. So I'm going to move this question tree to the left because I want to test it immediately. So I'm going to save. Okay, so on the student consumption side, so one quick way to show you this is I'm going to do a quick preview as students, which will allow me to show how the student will be interacting with this. So first thing, the student comes here. I'll be prompted to click either start quiz or this one. Either one will work. So this is now I'm confronted with this speech evaluation of which I must submit my answer. So as a student, I will then tap my... So I'm going to try to do something very accurate. So we will expect the engine to give a high score. So let's try. 你们今天有去学校吗? So the system will take some time depending on the size of the audio clip and once it is ready, the student can play back So I can save or I can check the answer Once the student click check, then you will see this pending feedback that the audio clip has been submitted to the Chinese language engine evaluator okay then uh, so immediately the answer the rubrics auto mark this so it, it does in some sense save the teachers a lot of effort to listen to all the students script and it can take up to five minutes the student can record up to 10 audio clips Just submit only one to be evaluated by the speech engine okay so i'm going to show you next uh, so just as a demonstration of the accuracy uh, i'm going to do another one so i'm going to purposely say this in a poor uh, accuracy and fluency okay so let's try 你们很伤心. so i just spoken in chinese of the not reading correctly as well as not reading fluently i suspect so let's see when i submit this whether the speech evaluation engine is able to give a low mark for accuracy and fluency uh, so you can see that the engine rates it poorly for accuracy which is good because that means the engine is accurate and fluency seems to be uh, on the average band so it does seem like this is going to save teachers tremendous amount of time to listen through all the audio clips and i think this will be more probably a well appreciated feature as a result of the imtl portal